I just love sumo wrestling. Sumo, call me, call me, call me. 24 hours, 7 days a week. Sumo, call me, call me, call me. Sumo, call me, call me, call me. Sumo, call me, call me, call me. Call me, call me, call me, call me. Akai no kota. Mate, mate. Nishi higashi. Aki bono. Takano hana. Koni shiki. Haku hotu. Musashi maru. Tai hotu. Sato Giona Fuji Step on Doyo Flame the Salt Up Revenge Sumo Wedgie Stomp your feet down and do your hands will too Revenge Sumo Wedgie Nippon 2016 and January 2017 Sumo Hi there. It's Cutter again. How about how, how does it go? So anyway, um this next video is about the 2016 in Sumo and also January 2017 because you know Jim 17 was famous. Um so basically if you want to check like decades in sumo, like from the 80s and 90s. You have gotta check my I Side 2015 and I Side 2016 um, playlists that I created. So basically, that is that. So, without further ado, here we go. The second video is about 2016 in sumo. First, first and foremost, uh, January 10th. Um, the Emperor and Empress come in. Of course, you know, in January they always come for the sumo. First Sumo Tournament, and unfortunately, Kitana Nomi passed away. Um, I'll give you a, a quick note on Kitana Nomi, who was the chairman of the Japan Sumo Association for many years. He, was, he had a six year run and then retired in 2008. Before 2012, he came back for four years, for about three years. So he was nine years chairman of the Japanese Sumo Association. So Kitana Nomi was the youngest ever to be a Yokozuna, age 21. Which was in 1974, I bet. And he was a Yugo for 63 tournaments. I believe Haku was close to that record. So he won 24 um, bachelors and was part of greatness from Hokkaido. And he actually had the most belts won by Yugo at the time of his death, but I think Haku will beat him. So, yeah, so in, so in late 74, he was a Yugo won 24 titles. So anyway, he retired in 1985. So, anyway, that was amazing. He died of colon cancer. Won a lot of bachelors. He won two bachelors in 1974, two in 75, three in 76, two in 77, five in 78. He missed out with the Grand Slam. Yeah, he, from 78, he won the first five tournaments, lost, uh, didn't win the, t the next tournament and then all of a freaking sudden he won the last he won the first two in 79 so basically he won six he won seven out of eight bachelors how cool style well he won three in 79 three in 1982 in 1981 1982 he won one 83 he had a lot of injuries so basically he missed three tournaments and in 84 he won but unfortunately injuries caught up to him so basically that was Kitsano Sato um and January January of 2016, Koto Shigiku became the first Yoko's, uh, the first sumo wrestler in a uh, Japanese-born wrestler since Tochi Asuma in 2006 to win a basho. And Koto Shigiku actually beat all three Yokozuna to be 14 and one. He lost to Toyono Shima, a mega shirat wrestler, who ironically was the runner-up at 12 and three, sharing with two Yokozuna, Haruma Fuji and Hakuho. So anyway, uh. That's when the the promising young wrestler, wrestler Endo got pull, had to pull out through injury and got sent to Jurio. Um, February they had the famous one day sumo tournament, knockout tournament. 
Hakuho Kachi. There are actually some sumo wrestler sumo matches featuring Oya Kata or sumo stable masters. But anyway, uh, February, uh, February they made a bansuke for the Osaka March tournament. Toyoshima goes back to Sekiwake for the first time in four years. And a lot of people, Osuna Rashi and Endo lost Makiduchi status, so they dropped to Jurio. So, anyway, in March, um, Oya Kata Shibatayama and one of his wrestlers were forced to pay 32 million yen, or about 287,000 500 American in compensation to a wrestler who the court ruled had faced daily abuse since 2008 and actually lost a sight in his eye because of a detached retina. Two days later, Hakuho took his first Yusho since July 2015, winning the March 2016 tournament in a 36th by beating Haruma Fuji. So basically, he was actually, he actually started out the Basho with a loss to Takara Fuji, but won all 14 other matches. He beats Kisano Sato by one. Kisano Sato only loses twice. Guido does pretty well at 12 and 3. Koto Shikiku only finishes 8 and 7. And he lost his Yokozuna chance. Asuda Rashi wins Jurio, so he got promoted back. Amazing. Um, so, anyway. Takano Hana. Had a chance to be the Japan Sumo Association Board of Director, but unfortunately he lost to Hakaku Oyakata. So basically, um, a lot happened. In April, they made the Bansuki for the May tournament, and Kaisai reaches Kosubi, the first sumo from Brazil. Endo and Osuna Rashi came back. Hakuho and May won his 37th title with a perfect 15-0 record. His 12th Senso Yusho, meaning he didn't lose anything. Kisada Sato is runner-up at 13-2. He was the he was made the first Yokos, first Oseki, excuse me, to win 13 bouts in two consecutive tournaments by Don Kipurana Yokozuna since Hakuho in 2006. Tachiya Shin does pretty well. Tirada Fuji started out fast, but he, his injuries cost him to go 2 and 13. The, part of the worst ever record for Noseki. Chiyono Kuni wins the Jurio. In June of 2016, they made the rankings for the upcoming July tournament in Nagoya. Toshio Sin and Kaisai are the Sakiwake. The Kaisai moved up. It's the first time since 1944 that there have been two consecutive tournaments featuring two Sakiwake debuts. That's amazing. Kita Harima makes his top division debut 85 tournaments after his debut, the ninth slowest in history. 85, that's equivalent to about 14 years. Chiyoda Kuni did pretty well. He was actually down to Sun Danmei, but went back to top division. And in the July Bash Show in Nagoya, Haruba Fuji won his 8th career title by beating Hakuho on the final day to be 13-2. and two. Hakuho finishes a un-Haku-like record of 10-5. and five. Haruba Fuji just narrowly avoided a playoff with Takanoewa Teka, Teka and Kisano Sato. Poor Kisano Sato, once again he's a member of. With 38 wins over the last three tournaments, Kisano Sato has a good chance to be promoted to Yokozuna. So anyway, unfortunately, Chiyono Fuji, the 58th Yokozuna, died a week after the Nagoya tournament. Kokane Oyakata died of pancreatic cancer at 61. He won 31 career titles, third behind Hakuo and Taiho. Ten championships were actually 19, excuse me, were won after the age of 30, which was amazing. Well, I'm 31 right now, but 19 tournaments, wow. And he also set records for longest post-war winning streak, 53. And most career was 1045. Um, so anyway, I'll talk more about Chiona. I'll talk more about Chiona Fuji in a different video. Uh, 
So basically, they go in some mature. Chiyo Taikai is now stable master because Chiyo Fuji died. Funeral. Funeral Chiyo Fuji was held August 7th. Toki Tenhu, who was absent because of, because of his main lymphoma, retires. He's going to be a coach at Toki, Toki Te Sukase Stable. After acquiring Japanese citizenship, he purchased the elder stock from Wakano Hana II in 2014. So anyway, in late August, they made the Matsuki for September Basho. Kuedo and Kotoshikiku are Kotoban, meaning they must get a winning record or else they're going to drop from Oseki. And for the third straight tournament, there are two new Sakuraki, Takayasu and Takara Fuji. In September, Haku announced that he had toe, he needs toe surgery, so basically he gets, he decides to withdraw from the September tournament. He was carrying a lot of injuries too. Guido, who Guido, who beat Tamawashi to be um, to win the Basho, Basho clinched his first Basho, beat Kotoshi Gigo on the final day to be 15 and 0. He got Senshou Yusho. He's the first Oseki who was Kotoban to take the Yusho with an undefeated record. And he's the first since Musashi Maru, Hawaiian born Rikishi in nineteen ninety four, to claim his first chance when he won his first match would be fifteen and 0, Central Yusho. And he's also the first Japanese wrestler in twenty years to sens to do a Central Yusho, the last one being Takanohana. Endo is thir ends up thirteen two, which was amazing. He got the technique price. Koto Shigeku did stay in the Oseki division, he got his 500 record. They go on and on toward the Bansuke in October releases that Ishiria and Hokuto Fuji are now in the Makaduchi division. Hokuto Fuji reached Makaduchi 10 tournaments after his pro debut, which is the second fastest rise since the sixth tournament a year system was established in 1958. So anyway, in November, the Kyushu tournament was won by Yokozuna Kakuru, who beat Guido. So basically, Guido was trying to beat Yokozuna, but he lost five matches. Kakuru beats his fellow Mongolian Rikishi Haruma Fuji. To be 41, so he wins his third Emperor's Cup. Kizuna Sato once again is runner up the 12th time, which is a record for someone who never won a Yusho. Kizuna Sato actually finishes with the highest number of wins for the calendar year 69 out of a possible 90. So he only lost 21 times in six specials, which is amazing. And no one else has achieved this without winning a tournament in the, the six special era. A lot of people win third fight. So, Kodo Shikiku was made to be Kataban Sato is now one of the, and the Bansuke. The Bansuke for the January 2017 tournament was released. Tabawashi is now second by Ken Shondai, who, is the sec who made the se second fastest move to Sekawake from a jury wrestler. Konishki surprisingly is number one. So anyway, um, we got that. And now we go to January 2017. Sorry if this is boring, but that's what it is. 2017. This year, Kisato Sato shocks everyone by winning the Basho after so many runner-up finishes in 2016. He beats, he wins because he sees Hakuo lose to Makashira Takana Takana so Haku cannot catch Kisana Sato because now Kisana Sato has a two win margin on the second last day and obviously he can't do it. So after 12 runner up finishes, Kisana Sato finally wins a Yusho. And the surprise thing is, he beat Haku on the last day too, 14 of 1. 
Unfortunately, Kisuna Sato did end up not facing the other two Yokozuna, Kakuru and Haruma Fuji, because they both got injured. Hakuho finishes 11 and 4. For the first time in his Yokozuna career, which is 10 years, he's gone four straight tournaments without winning a title. The runner up is Soku Kurai, who's Makashira. At age 33, pretty good. So, anyway, Tarada Fuji and Koto Shigiku are 5 and 10. Finished 5 and 10. Tarada Fuji is back to being Kadoban, I guess. And Koto Shigiku is now gone. So, he will now he'll be Sekuake. And the uh, Yokozuna Deliberation Council finally decides to allow a Japanese wrestler to be Yokozuna. That is Kitsuno Sato. So, Kitsuno Sato did it. You got to be in March. We'll see him as a, we'll finally win the. He finally did it. So anyway, Kisuna Sato did his Yokozuna do, Doyo Iri for the first time in public in front of eighteen thousand people at the famous Meiji Shrine, and sadly, Toko, Toki Tenku died. January 31st at the age of 37 because of lymphoma. It's just amazing how, you know, lymphoma just can kill us. So anyway, we don't know what's going to happen. There's not a whole lot of things. But anyway, that's all I've got for the 2016-17 Subo. Next video will be all about Kizeta Sato, his rise to fame as a Masuda.